Well, next, Ken Wilshire is going to take you to a century-old family farm in Paris, Tennessee. Now, don't expect fields of corn and soybeans or even a pasture full of animals. At Sally Lane's Candy Farm, they harvest sweet treats that attract visitors from miles around. This colorful pink and white building is called the Candy House here on this Paris, Tennessee farm. Actually, this is Sally Lane's Candy Farm, and you won't see rows of crops nor a barnyard full of animals. Instead, you'll be lured inside by the tantalizing aromas of chocolate, mint, caramel, and freshly popped popcorn. When we did the caramel in the big copper pots back there, you can just smell it forever and you think, oh, and you knowing that that thing's been on a, a gas stove, you just want to stick your finger in there. One of Sally Lane's owners is Pam Rockwell. She's the second of three generations of these candy farm hands you'll find hard at work in the kitchen. They're preparing a tempting assortment of sweet homemade delights while preserving a family tradition. Sally Lane was a real lady. And, and that's the question. People call me Sally now, and I'll say yes. In 1958, they actually started the company. It really was on a farm when, when Miss Sally started it. And then they had stopped, it was just Sally Lane's. And when we moved it back, this is our family farm. And uh, it has been for over 100 years. So we just took the name Sally Lane's Candy Farm back. Pam's husband Rick and her parents Shelby and Bobby Freeman bought Sally Lane's in 2006. Her daughter Amelia and brother Rob came on board to help turn this labor of love into a sweet success. We thought this would be a weekend job and now it's just turned into a, a career for my brother and Amelia Kay. This is what, what they want to do is they want to, to do Sally Lane for the rest of their days. It's so much more than we ever thought it would be. I guess when we bought Sally Lane's, we turned into just the new candy family. The pink and green theme all started with the first candies they made. Honey mint and peppermint delights. The main products still are the pink and green mints. That was what Sally Lane's originally started with. And then our number two product would be the white chocolate popcorn that we started making. Then we do barks, which are just pieces of, of chocolate. And, and, you know, peanut butter bark, dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, and we did the different nuts. We did divinity, fudge, that is so yummy. And what's so funny now is so many people say, this tastes just like it used to. And that's, that's a compliment to us. And to make sure every piece looks and tastes like it should, Shelby keeps a close eye on the operation. You might say she's the quality control manager and knows exactly how it's all made. We start with the uh, mints over here. We have those weighed out and they're just ready to be poured in. Someone does that ahead of time. And then we mix them in the mixer and then they're poured on the table and then they'll cut the mints in the squares and then someone takes those and puts them in the little cups and they have them ready for me usually to just start and and I box nearly everything that we do. Not only does she package it, it has to look just right. When we first started, our husbands thought that we didn't need to gift wrap or do anything, but to us, the ribbons just what makes it. <laughs> so we tie bows for everything. They call the farm their candy commune, with everyone living within walking distance to the kitchen. 
but it's much more than candy making that literally keeps Pam and Shelby, Amelia, Rob, and Bobby kids in the candy store. Even Amelia's son, Tate, is the official taste tester and could be the family's fourth generation of Sally Lane farmers. Just knowing that we're carrying on a tradition and this is, you know, a family. We're getting to be together and, and do something really fun. They were honored when the white chocolate popcorn was chosen by Rachel Ray as the official audience snack for one of her TV shows. Pam and Shelby hand-delivered almost 200 bags to her New York studio. We didn't get to be in the audience, but we stood outside and watched people come out with our popcorn, and that was as neat as being in there. And people were having our, their pictures made with us, and it was just, it was a, another terrific thing from, from getting to have the Candy's Farm. But there's more. Their retail store in Paris is another landmark. It's filled with a bountiful harvest from the farm where everyone in this candy family is cultivating a rich heritage and reaping the happiness of their sweetest dreams. In fact, you might say they possess a love and affection for creating confections with pride and passion, family and tradition. Just a short walk down Candy Lane here at Sally Lane's.